Had a beautiful day yesterday and today is not going to be so beautiful. We're already dealing with some cloud cover and look what's going on over our southeastern Kentucky counties way down south. We've got some showers showing up towards Whitesburg, even a bit of lightning running right on the border there and towards Harlan. Some showers rolling in the first of what will become much more numerous showers and thunder showers that are definitely going to impact your day compared to that beautiful day yesterday. This is not going to be anywhere near that level. And there's a reason for it. We've got a cold front tracking in. You've got showers and storms that extend from the Great Lakes all the way down through Missouri, all part of a system that is approaching a wave of low pressure that will run up into the Great Lakes over the next 24 hours and drag a cold front through here. And that cold front is going to be the driver, not just behind showers and storms, but also a cool down into tomorrow. It's also a coastal low, so there's a marginal risk along the Carolinas. June vacationers not too happy about that. Uh, marginal risk for severe storms here in the Commonwealth as well. They've pared it down on the western edge. I think a lot of the activity is going to start right here in the bluegrass and then eventually roll into eastern Kentucky as we go through the afternoon. Then tomorrow that risk shifts off to the east. But if you look at the LAX 18 storm tracker future track, you can see that development down south we're seeing right now. And then eventually it's going to fill in as some scattered showers and storms. Not everybody will see it, but where you get hit, you could have a strong to even borderline severe storm. It continues. If you look, this is around 11 o'clock tonight. So past midnight as the front rolls east, I think we're going to back it off to some scattered showers. But then tomorrow we're in the wake of that front and on the back end of that low to our northeast, which means we'll see some wraparound showers that could persist throughout much of the day. They'll be very widely scattered. And the other impact is going to be the cool down. If you hadn't heard, we may not get out of the 60s tomorrow. Rainfall amounts will vary wildly anywhere from a few hundreds to a few tenths to nothing out west, upwards of a half an inch to maybe an inch as you head east. So some folks will get soaked. And of course, we've got extensive cloud cover in place already, depending on your location. The dew point coming up, an indication of rising humidity as the wind is kicked over to the south. 74 degrees right now in Lexington. That's about where we're going to be for a high, but I'm fast forwarding you to tomorrow. That low track in east, these are highs into your Thursday afternoon. And look at that mid to upper 60s in the bluegrass, maybe staying in the 50s as you head up into Ohio and Michigan. That's unusually cool. Good 15 to almost 20 degrees below what we typically see this time of the year. The record low max, a very cold high for the day. The record for that is 60 set back in 1955. We're not going to get to those levels, but you are going to notice that it is not feeling anything like June. Usually out west, the flip side is the heat, and boy, are they seeing it anywhere from 100 triple digit highs to 120 Death Valley. They've got excessive heat warnings out in Vegas and also out towards uh, the Pacific Northwest. Here, we're not even making it to our average high, which is in the low 80s. Scattered showers and storms could be some strong to borderline severe storms to keep an eye on this afternoon, and then they should gradually shift east this evening and overnight. So tomorrow, that's the bottoming out point. Now there is some good news. Friday sunshine still very cool for this time of the year around 70. How about a 10 degree jump Saturday up to around 80? We're in the low 80s by Father's Day, but we will have an increasing chance for showers and storms. And sadly, it's looking like we may get into a static pattern where we've got those daily storm chances coming back into early next week. Uh